Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Body Life Apothecary, and I'm a professional tarot, intuitive, and astrologer. As you can tell from the title of this week's video, we are going to be talking about what we can expect for this week ahead. I can already say from the jump that this is going to be one of those uh, record-breaking um, weeks for sure. And that being said, I do have the cards pulled up, I do have the astrology chart pulled up, and I will be diving into the, into the details of that. It is specific, but this reading is for a general audience. Before I even dive into what it is that I'm seeing, what it is that I'm feeling, and what the charts are showing, and how the planets are um, impacting us here on Earth, I do want to say that again these messages are very specific these are predictions for what is to happen from what i can see now and how the energies of the planets are impact us, impacting us here on earth these are never and have never been my personal opinions i've never put my personal opinions and my beliefs on bahati life youtube channel if you guys have been a subscriber for a minute you guys know that i keep my my beliefs off the, um, the platform and definitely outside of my work for the most part so if it resonates or if it triggers anyone or makes anyone upset please keep in mind that yes these messages are very specific but they are not my personal beliefs this is my work that it is that I'm doing I'm very professional and I'm very um, educated in, in my work and the reason why I say that is because as um, specific as these messages can and will be it is again for a general a general audience and it's to explain what it is that's to happen my work as an astrologer is to give my predictions and to give it accurately so even though it resonates it has nothing to do with what it is that I want to see for the future or what I don't want to see for the, for the future or anything else like that I have to say that in today's times because you know it's very tumultuous energy that is that we're working with and if you guys have been a long time subscribed to the YouTube channel. I've been keeping my eyes on Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn transits through Capricorn, and that's where it is that we're getting this hyper focus on government, politics, religion, and established businesses and stuff like that. So, that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. I have the chart pulled up in front of me, a little bit to my right, it is what it is, and I do have some cards pulled up. I will not be doing a pick a card reading for this week just because there's just too much that it is that we need to talk about um, that I don't, I just want to, to dive in because there are some, I don't want to say warnings, but some information that it is that I need to share with you. First things first, you guys, um, Mercury. Mercury is finally going to be going direct on the 3rd of November. Now, Mercury has been a little bit of a doozy for a lot of people, but if you know how to work with the planets, you can make this work for you and not against you. So basically what this means is that if you are open to how Mercury is teaching you how to switch up your communication to slow down, especially with Mars retrograde, which is going to be moving direct um, next week, which put a pin in that, in the sign of Aries. These are planets that are, are telling us and have been inspiring us to slow it down, to pause, to pay attention to the fine details, to the specifics with these goals that it is that we want to push off the ground. I have reopened for readings and during this time, most of my clients are very I'm getting this energy of frustration from them. I've noticed this, that they have these large scale projects, these large large scale visions that is that they have for themselves, for their health, for their relationships, these things that is that they want to see take off the ground, that they finally feel like, okay, there's a spark, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I want to see this work through. What can I do just to help see this through? What can I do in my power in order to make this thing work? And, you know, it, it's tough because uh, the planet currently right now, so much of this is saying, listen, you know, we are breaking down the ground and there is not a whole lot that is that you can do outside of be open to adjusting, being flexible and kind of giving people and things the space to adjust themselves before you try to cement things into place and, and for the for the for your future for the long haul. This means that if there's conversations that is that you're having, you know, you want to instead of right making a contractual agreement out of it and 
calling, you know, defining a relationship and saying, okay, this is what we are, this is where we're headed, this is where we're going, put a pin in it and say, this is what we see for ourselves right now. Do you see how we're staying in the present moment? We're doing the same thing for our businesses, we're doing the same thing for our work, we're doing the same thing for our health, we're doing the same thing for our psychological healing, all of these things are things that we're putting a pin in. This is what works for me right now. This is what I like. So I'm going to continue to add into this. I'm going to continue to contribute this. Why? Because the personal planets and the, the major planets, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn retro, um, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn, even though they've been direct for about a month now, they're still building their energy, they're still strengthening their energy, and they're larger scale planets, and they're doing the most heavy damage. So by damage, I mean that they're doing the most permanent adjustment here and meanwhile people are still getting comfortable and adjusting to this we're seeing this not only in our intimate lives but we're also seeing it in our government we're seeing it in our politics we're seeing it in business so there's a lot of disruption that's happening there's a lot of trigger points that are getting ignited these are things that go so deep it's not just this year that's something that I've been saying for a very long time is that the issues that we're seeing this year are not just from this year although they're being highlighted highlighted and put to our focus. These are things that have been going on generationally, but have been hyper-focused for the last five to six years, and I have been saying that on my YouTube channel. Mars is retrograde right now. Mercury is about to be direct. At the time of me filming it, it's still retrograde. So there's a lot of wonkiness that's going on in the planets. Meanwhile, we have Venus sitting in the, I'm sorry, um, yeah, Venus sitting in the sign of Libra, the Sun sitting in the sign of Scorpio, Neptune is retrograde in the sign of Pisces. Chiron is retrograde in the sign of Aries. Uranus is retrograde in the sign of Taurus. You know, and we're just coming out of a full moon this week. What does this tell me? This means that there's this desire to go deep. There's this desire to want more. There's this desire for profound change. There's this desire to connect on a deeper level. But at the same time, there's an adjustment phase that needs to happen. There's respect that needs to happen. Respect for yourself, respect for your boundaries, respect for other people's boundaries, respect for energy as a whole, as a collective. As I'm saying that, you guys, this week, be very mindful of the words that you're saying, that you're writing, the things that is that you're thinking, what is that you're doing, how you're moving. Why? Because if we have these, if the world is in this space right now of heightened vulnerability and adjustment, if you say the wrong thing at the wrong time in the wrong way, it can go left so quickly. And because of the position of the planets, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn, direct in the sign of Capricorn, it can be really hard, almost impossible, to take back what it is that you said, to take back what it is that you've done. It can impact you for the long haul. Okay, so just be really mindful of that. Be super mindful of that. If you are sensitive, if you are sensitive, if you are an empath, this is one of those weeks where it is best for you to put your earbuds in to make sure that you are highlighting and focusing on self-care and self-preservation. I, was, As I was looking at the charts, it's so interesting because I wrote down the words, um, if you that there are people who are gonna be electrified by the energy this week and there are gonna be people who feel electrocuted by the energy this week. Which one of these do you fall in? If you are electrified by the energy of this week, the things that is that you're seeing in government, politics, businesses, and in your personal life, you still there's a still um, a healthy caution, there's still a healthy level of warning that says be very mindful of what you're saying, how you're saying it, and the, the impact that your words have on each other, the impact that the words have on the people around you, okay? If you feel electrocuted by this energy, this is the time for you to really, um, if there are certain obligations and responsibilities that you feel like you normally uphold, this is a time where you want to be flexible with yourself and you want to accommodate your feelings and your vibrations because again, this energy is very tense this week. Um, if you have to plug out of the news, plug out of social media, unplug from your relationships, um, switch up your, your plans, the things that it is that you thought that you want or that you had had in store things that is that you wanted to do things that you had planned to do it's okay for you to say you know what for this week i have to put it on hold i'm definitely getting this vibration right now of um you know disappointment why because people need to change their plans people are not 
stepping up and you know honoring their word and that's okay I know that for you guys you know your word is everything and I'm a Virgo so I know I know all about that you know following through on my word following through on my promises and making sure that I'm there for others but you know this the planets are giving you permission right now to say listen stay flexible stay open that if you do say that you're gonna do something it is okay if you're feeling sick if you're feeling low energy if you need to you know, tap out, pull out for a second. This is the time and the planets are giving you permission to say, listen, you know what? Always check in with yourself and follow your vibes. Promises are going to be broken. Mercury squaring off with Saturn this week. Saturn sitting in the sign of Capricorn. Mercury's um, still moving through the sign of Libra. It's all about following the energy. There's the, there's the desire to want to work with others, but at the same time, certain things keep coming through and everything is wonky and, you know, working itself out. When it comes to relationships, uh, the Venus sitting in the sign of Libra is going to be directly opposing Mars. Mars moving to the sign of Aries. So there's this push-pull, this interesting push-pull, and there's a space of independence that is that's needed, you, you guys. You know, um, I'm really feeling like, you know, sometimes when you're always there for your partner, if you're always there for other people, or if you always show up in this way, you know what, maybe you might have to put yourself first, your, your needs first, your desires first. Not in a sense that, you know, you do it for the sake, you know, to create conflict or tension with your partner, but for the sake of, you know what, I, I don't know why, but I'm getting a sense of, you know, um, sometimes you have to show someone that they have to miss you, you know what I mean, in order for them to prioritize you. Not that it's a game, I'm not saying that you guys need to be playing games out here, and that's not it at all, but... I'm also seeing this very much in business contracts. I feel as though that there's a business, a company, a client, a boss, whoever that expects you to show up in this way all the time. And this is the time when you say, they might be taking advantage of it. This is where saying less may, means that you gain more, you do more, or you work smarter, not harder. So this is when you when you say, you know what, I, I, I can't do that right now, or we're going to have to put a hold on this contract, I'm going to have to put a hold on this agreement, because there's other obligations that it is that I need to tend to, that it is that I need to focus on. This is going to make the other partner, this is going to make the other project say, wait a minute, this relationship that I have with this partner, with this alliance, with this contractual agreement or whatever in your work your relationships whatever it is it's too valuable for me to let this go let me learn how to respect them more let me learn how to work with them more it can't be you always doing you know sh going above and beyond and then just kind of coasting and vice versa so there has to be a healthy level we're going to even the playing field a little bit for everyone this message is going to be different remember this is a very specific message for a general audience the next thing that is that i'm seeing is this space of uh, connecting with higher vibrational levels of love and relationships. What is it that you see for yourself? What do you want to feel like in your relationships? What do you want to feel like in your life? There's this space of um, focusing on quality, quality connections and quality experiences and quality, quality feelings. We want to get really deep to the root with it. We don't want to just keep this on the superficial level. Oh yes, this makes me happy when in reality it's kind of feeling, making you feel empty and it's bleeding you out. So why is this? Well, we have Sun trying, Sun and Scorpio trying Neptune retrograde in the sign of Pisces. It wants this next level um, vibration. It wants this next level connection. It wants this next level experience. It doesn't want to compromise when it comes to the one life that is that you have here to live on Earth. It wants this next level. Um, space of you know memories that is that you're making and experiences as that you're sharing so we really want to stay open to that um, on the 12th Jupiter is going to be uh, directly conjunct perfectly conjunct Pluto keep your eyes on this the days around the 12th this is going to be very eruptive mark my words it's gonna be very eruptive keep your eyes on um, e e the economy keep your eyes on your money keep your eye if you um, if you are solid when it comes to your finances, this could be a great time to seal the deal when it comes to uh, real estate. And I'm seeing a lot when it comes to houses and con uh, contractual agreements, um, stocks. Keep your eyes on the stocks. Um, and also keep your eyes on bigger business and government and politics. This is just, it's one of those things where it's like kind of flipping a coin a little bit. 
it's it'll be interesting to see how this plays out if you are someone who is solid it's one of those things where energy will express itself in the door that is open and that fits it best so if you are coming from a space where you are doing business fairly where you are um equal i don't want to say equal well yeah equal opportunity if you are someone who is I don't want to say sharing, but not hoarding. This is going in a way that is detrimental, in a way that is um, toxic, is how I'm going to say this. This could play out in spades for you. When I say this, you guys, this is where the predictions get real. So when I'm talking about astrological predictions and psychic predictions, there is no such thing as time. So what it is that I'm seeing is energy. What it is that I'm feeling is energy and it doesn't contain itself to time. So even if we may not see this in this moment, it starts now and it impacts and it, it impacts and influences our future, but we may not necessarily see it right now. This is energy that can take down the big dog, but at the same time that person is being taken down, they are being skyrocketed up. It doesn't logically make sense, but it's not logical energy that we're working with. It's energy, it's spiritual, it's vibrational. So the same time that it could be very dis, dis, um, deceiving. So the same time someone is being taken down, someone that's very powerful, that's very um, demonstrative, very much showing their um, toxic masculinity because that's what is that we're seeing within the chart. Again, I'm not putting my opinions in this. I'm just letting you know, guys know. At the same time that the energy is being taken down, it can be skyrocketed up. So they'll have a larger platform. They'll be projected out into physical eyes, meaning like people will see it. People will hear about it. There will be horns. There will be bells. There will be whistles. That being said, I have these cards pulled up. I have the Justice card, the Emperor reverse, Five of Swords reverse, Hierophant, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Swords. There is this slow sortation, meaning that things are slowly going to be sorting themselves out. It starts from a root chakra base. It starts from a lower vibrational level, but at the same time, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't see it right away because um, it's it's a slower, lower energy, okay? What does this mean? It means that our government, our business, our, business, our politics, religion, things that, is that we go to for direction, for counsel, for clarity, for leadership is under um, massive revamp re revampation, but we wouldn't see all of it because of how loud it is on the surface. It's a feeling, it's a vibration underneath it. That being said, you guys, the root chakra is really coming through. The root chakra is connected to the ideas of safety, security, and stability. There's going to be a rock, okay? There's gonna be like the boat. It's almost like, what I'm getting is like people like walking on the earth and there's this like lower like this vibration that happens underneath that some people pick up on and they feel it but most people are so distracted by the parade that they don't hear it that they don't feel it but it impacts us for it's such a massive shift so that's what it is I'm seeing it's very tough for me to come on here to be honest with you guys I actually took a week off and I have more time take that I'm planning to take off because energetically this is a lot um, for me to, to share and what it's not so much what it is I'm seeing it's sometimes the reaction that the public has on me um, or towards me when I share certain specific things and I don't want to say that I'm tired of it because I'm not spirit protects my energy but I don't need to hear or feel certain things I don't need to have certain energy directed at me when I'm just here doing my work um, and my goal has always been to show up in a space that is authentic and real, forward and direct and precise. So I will continue to do that. That is my life legacy here. That's why I'm here on earth and I will not be taken down by what's going on in the, uh, in, in the world that we live in, the external world. The spiritual world is, world is protecting me. But I will say that, you know, 
definitely watch your energy pick up it's a very sensitive like sensitives are the first ones to pick up on it and usually the feminine form the feminine energy is the first to pick up on it. I just want to put that out there for you it's nothing to be afraid of it's nothing to run for the hills it has everything to do with you grounding yourself and centering yourself and focusing on your root chakra I hope that that makes sense meanwhile the home front is going to be uprooted um, energy is going to be there is going to be a loss of energy it is going to feel draining so there's a space right now that I wrote down I said put it down whatever it is whatever it is that feels um, like you I feel like some of you guys are going to want to have this expectation that your energy is going to feel a certain way so that you can do these goals do these things continue on as normal and the energy of the planets right now is saying it's not realistic and it's not wise for you to have this expectation that your energy is going to stay at this level. Whatever it is you're, you're trying to do to keep your energy high in order to do this thing, put it down for now. Lay it to rest for this week. Let it be, let it rest. Do less here, clear the head space, support the root chakra is exactly what it is that I wrote down here. Um, this week will be messy, it will be confusing. It, there will be conflicting messages. Focus on clearing the head and any type of mental chaos. We wanna clear that out. If you have to disconnect from the news do that next week will be better when it comes to clarity when it comes to direction when it comes to energy and having a heightened level of energy for the majority of people but for right for right now you guys journal stay focused stay clear-headed stay stay rooted stay optimistic i hope that that makes sense you guys I'm sending you guys all of my love. Please keep in mind that this is divine chaos that it is that we're in right now. Div divine chaos means that things have to be moving around in order for them to move into place and it's going to be perfect. Believe that, have faith in that, keep your vibrations high. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.